What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is a video on the new Idolmaster. I made a video on the old version of Idolmaster. This version has changed drastically enough to warrant a new video. If you've tried to follow along with the old video and you couldn't get it to work, the good news is this version of Idolmaster works much better. Real quick, what is Idolmaster? Idolmaster is a open source program that takes your cards in Steam and extracts them for you, okay? So if you know about card drops, is certain games in Steam have card drops and you have to download the game, you have to play the game, and you get cards for that game. Idolmaster makes it so you don't have to download those games, you don't have to play those games, you simply idle this program in the background and it extracts those cards. It doesn't work instantaneously, it's not like all of a sudden you download the program and it zip, you have the cards. It simulates you playing that game, okay? So it will show you hours playing that game or time playing that game. So let's quick set it up and I'll kind of explain how it works from here. We're going to go to www.steamidolmaster.com. I'll leave a link in the description. We're going to go download now. Once it's finished downloading, we want to save that file. And we can go to our downloads folder. If we go folders, downloads, there it is. Right here is what we're looking for. It looks just like that. Control X, find a folder. It doesn't matter where you save it. I have a folder labeled Idolmaster and paste it into there. Here you can see I actually have two versions of it because I've already done this before. That's it. And from there we want to double click and run. Put it up here, we'll click run. Now when you first run this, it's gonna look like this and it's gonna ask you to sign in. And you're going to get a screen like this, and you simply want to sign in. Now it might ask you for a security code or something like that. Don't worry, just get it from your email, put it in there. And Idle Master saving your information, you only have to really do that one time. Reading badge, play, badge page, please wait. And here we go. Now as you can see, I it shows that I'm currently in game Lethal League. I don't have to have Lethal League even downloaded. I do own Lethal League, but I have card drops, so it's basically making it so I'm playing that game even when I'm not. Even if I don't have it downloaded, it mysteriously works. And what's going on here is it's showing that I have one card drop remaining for Lethal League, and it's going to check in five minutes to see if that card drop happened. If it does, it's going to move on to the next game. I can manually pause this or I can move to the next game by simply clicking this button. Right here, now it's going to start the Banner Sega. Now when it has more than one card drop remaining, it checks every 15 minutes. So it shows I have two card drops remaining for this game. It's going to check in 15 minutes to make sure I still have card drops. If I only have one, then it checks every five minutes. And if I was just to leave this go, it will automatically go to the next game. So say it finishes with the Banner Sag Sega Saga. I should say, it'll automatically go to Project Zomboid. Real quick here, if we go File, Settings, here we can change the idling order. The default is alphabetical order. I can prioritize games with the highest number of available drops, prioritize games with the lowest number of drops. That's pretty nice. Um, I can also blacklist games, meaning I can skip games altogether. Say. I know I'm going to play a lot of Project Zomboid and I have no problem getting those games or those cards so I don't. 1849, I don't have it downloaded. This game, I, I've never even heard of it. It's probably something I got out of a Humble Bundle or something like that. Um, same thing with this. I, I don't have time to play every single game in my account. I, I I won't maybe even download this. I'll maybe check it out on the store page. Again, probably something I got off of Indie Gala or something like that. But I want these three cards and I don't want to download it. So this program does that for me. Um, some real quick questions. A lot of questions I got from the old Idolmaster that kind of applies to this. 
One question is, do you have to be signed in? Yes, you have to be signed in. You can appear offline, it works fine. Another question is, can I play games while this is working? Yes, you can. You can have this running in the background and you can play something completely different. Say, I wanted to play Lethal League. I could play Lethal League, it'll still work, I'll still get cards drops from both games if I have them available. It does, I believe it does work slower, the card drops happen at a slower pace than is if you were only to do the one at a time. The, the most question I get is, is this safe? Will I get my account banned? Is this a virus? Whatever. Okay. Will you get your Steam account banned for playing this? To my knowledge, nobody has ever gotten banned from this. This is not something that's new. It's been around for a while. We've been using it. And the reason it's safe, or the reason I believe no one has gotten banned, is because you're really not doing anything wrong. You are simply... You own these games. You have to own the game to make this work, okay? You're not duping cards. You're not copying cards. You're not stealing cards. You're not getting something that already isn't owed to you. This is simply just making it so you don't have to actually download the game. You do have to purchase it, but you don't have to download the game. And you don't have to play the game and you will get the card drops. Now, another question is, why doesn't X game work? Why doesn't Team Fortress 2 work? Or these other free-to-play games work? Any free to, most free-to-play games, I should say any, most free-to-play games will not work, even whether you download them or not, unless you make in-store purchases that for that game. For example, Team Fortress 2, every $9 that you spend in the store, you can then get a card drop. The same applies when using this program. Again, we're not doing anything illegal here. If this was illegal, I wouldn't post it on my YouTube channel, okay? Um, hope that answers you guys' questions. If you guys got any questions, let me know. Put them in the comments. I'll try to help you out. Again, this program it works way better than the other one. Way less setup time. I don't think you guys should have many problems with this, thank God. This should hopefully cause a lot less work for me trying to answer all you guys' questions but if you do feel free to ask them i will definitely try to help out as much as possible again thanks to the guy who made this jay shackles you're a gentleman and a scholar i appreciate it talk to you guys later genius pie trap over and out later bye victory the outcome was never really in doubt eat my dust let's have a go at it Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. Giddy up!